Light versus Darkness. We are dueling with Light Swords and Dark Worlds. That's right, two opposing decks, actually. In case you guys didn't know, Light Swords and Dark World are actually like immortal enemies at war in the card lore. So we thought this would be a really cool and fun theme duel to bring you guys. Plus, both of these decks have recently received support. Dark World in the form of a structure deck a couple years back and Light Swords from Legacy of Destruction. That's right, and we're gonna put it on showcase right here and right now and prove which faction is strongest. Make sure that you let us know down in the comments which deck you're rooting for. Drop a like if you enjoy these sorts of theme duels, and we'll get straight to it. So we have practiced this duel a few times in advance, so we mostly know everything, but I am not a native Dark World player. So if I mess something up- Light them up in the comments. All right, duelists, we're gonna do a high roll to see who goes first. All right, I'll use this Judgment Dragon die and whatever this is. It's five. <laughs> Four. Four, okay, wow. all right, okay. cool. Awesome. Uh, awesome. I'll go first, yeah. Five cards. All right, dude, let's take it away. And take it, I shall. I'll start by activating Solar Recharge. So I'm going to discard a Light Sworn monster, this Lila, to draw two cards and then send two cards from deck to grave. I send Weiss and Raiden. So now my Weiss will be activate its effect in the graveyard. When Weiss gets milled from deck to grave, it can target a Light Sworn in my grave and special summon it. I'll target Raiden. Okie doke. Special summon, and since Raiden's here, I might as well activate his effect too. I can mill two cards and he'll gain attack for each Light Sworn sent. Light Sworn Aegis and Minerva, the Light Sworn Maiden. I think he says Light, but he only gets attack for Light Sworn monsters, which okay. doesn't make a difference. So he'll go up to 1900 until the end of his turn. 1900, but Minerva activates and so does my Aegis. Aegis will set itself to the field and Minerva will mill one more card. And she mills Phallus. Okay. And Phallus will just special summon herself to the field. We are off to the races. Normal summon, Lumina, the Light Sworn Summoner. And I'll activate Lumina's effect. Let's discard one card from hand to special summon a level four lower Light Sworn from our graveyard. We'll summon my uh, Light Sworn. Oh, you're a tuner. Yikes. Yeah, Lila. <laughs> <laughs> Too many tuners in one moment. Yeah, a lot of tuners. One moment. One. Now we can do a Synchro Summon. We'll use the Felis and the Lila to summon a level eight Synchro Monster, Minerva. The Athenian Light Sworn. Oh, she's a new face. Yes, very Recently much. Released. So Minerva can send cards from my deck to the grave for each Light Sworn monster uses material. I use two, so I can send two, but they have to be different types. So okay. I can't do Phallus and Wolf. I can send Wolf. I'll send Lumina, the Twilight Sworn Shaman. I sent Wolf. Wolf will special summon itself to the field, but we're not through yet. So I'll activate Minerva's second ability. I can banish four Light Swarms from my graveyard to mill that many cards from my deck. So let's banish Minerva, Lila, Phallus, and Weiss. So now I can mill four cards. Weiss, Chaos Space, Phallus, and Dragonling. So Phallus will special summon itself to the field, and Dragonling would activate, but- No targets in the deck, may have? There may not be any targets in my deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> now we're gonna overlay to four. The other Minerva! the Exalted Light Sworn. And so I'll use this Minerva's effect. Detach one and mail three cards. For every Light Sworn card mailed, I'll draw a card. That's not a Light Sworn. That's not a Light Sworn. That one is. Okay, so, so Raiden. We do get to draw. One. We're gonna let Trick Clowns sit. Trick Clowns is gonna kind of be there because uh, thing, things, things have gotten a little out of hand with this first turn. Yeah, that happens. But you remember when I banished those four Light Sworn monsters? Now I can special summon Punishment Dragon from my hand. I'm gonna activate Punishment Dragon's effect. I'm gonna pay 1,000 life points and we're gonna go ahead and shuffle in all these non-Light Sworn monsters. Just so that I have can get some things back in the deck for future plays. Yeah, that sometimes comes in handy. And just because we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and Synchro Summon for seven. Might as well get the last one out here. Okay, everybody's showing up on like turn one. Michael, the Arch Light Sworn. So I'll move to end phase. Michael will make me mail three cards. Tr oh, Trick card! Wow, again, okay. No, Lumina and Phallus. Phallus will special summon herself, but also if a Light Sworn monster activ activates effect, Punishment Dragon has to mail four cards. Wolf, Raikou, Raiden, and Chaos Space. So, Wolf will special summon itself, and that's on my end phase, so I can't use those. Yeah, they're just kind of here. That's it. I'll draw for turn. 
I'll set one card face down and we'll activate Danger Jackalope. Pick one, hope you get lucky. This is the Jackalope. It was Ceruli, Guru of Dark World, which means that Danger Jackalope is gonna get special summon to the field. I'm so glad I, that this yeah, Ceruli kind of got fortunate. <laughs> yeah, so I get to draw one card for Jackalope and then Ceruli's effect will activate. It can special summon itself to the opponent's field. Unfortunately, can't do that because you have a full field. <laughs> I did not think that would come in handy. Yay, the thing goes off to a great start. Next, I'll activate Ginta, Gatesman of Dark World. So I can discard it from my hand to add my field spell, the Gates of Dark World, to my hand. I'll activate the Gates of Dark World. So I'm going to use the effect of Gates of Dark World by banishing my Ginta from my graveyard. So let me discard a Fiend and then draw one card. Discard Snow, the Unlight of Dark World, and then draw one card. Now I can activate Snow's effect. So, since it was discarded by a card effect, I get to add a Dark World monster from my deck to my hand. So I'm gonna use its effect. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Over King of Dark World. And also, I get to get Special Summon when it's banished. Next, I'm gonna activate Dark World Dealings. So we each draw one card and then discard one card. Free cards. Draw! I draw. I'm discarding Rainbow over King of Dark World. And I, Lila, Twilight, Sworn, Enchantress. So since Rainbow was discarded, it also gets an effect. Since it got discarded, I can add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster from my deck to my hand. The namesake of this deck, more or less, Grappa, Dragon Lord of Dark World. I'll activate my Dark World Accession. This lets me, during the main phase, fusion summon a Fiend Fusion monster from my extra deck by banishing materials from my field or grave, but I'm fusion summoning a Dark World monster. I can actually discard the needed materials instead. What if I use my Punishment Dragon's effect in response? I'll pay 1,000 life points to shuffle in all of our non-Light Sworn monsters in Grave and Banish Zone. Hmm, okay, well, 1,000 down the drain and all my cards are getting shuffled back in. Anyways, Dark World Accession will still resolve. Now you're forced to discard. So I'll have to be discarding cards or banishing something from my field. I'm gonna have to banish Jackalope and discard Graffa. This way, I can still summon my monster, just not as ideally. It's Graffa, Dragon Overlord of Dark World. Since this Graffa was discarded from my hand, I can activate its effect to target a card on the field, and I'll be able to destroy said card. Punishment Dragon. Goodbye, my friend. More importantly, though, I'm now going to return Ginta to my hand to special summon Graffa back from my graveyard. I can summon it by returning a Dark World monster I control, except for the copy of itself, to the hand it will get special summon. I'm also going to use the effect of Dark World Accession. During my main phase, I can add it back to my hand and then discard a Dark World monster. So I'm going to add it to my hand and discard my Ginta again into the battle phase. My monsters are gaining just 300 attack thanks to my field spell. I'll use this Graffa and attack Michael. So Michael only has 26, so I'll be taking 400 damage, but Michael has an effect when it's destroyed. Target any number of Light Swarm monsters in the graveyard, shuffle them in, and then I'll gain 300 life points for each one. Wolf, Felis, Lumina, Raiden, Dragonling, Raiko, Lila, and Weiss. So that's a grand total of 2,400 life points. All right, next I'm gonna use this Graffa and attack Minerva, the Athenian Light Swarm. Goodbye, my friend. That'll have to be it for me. Draw for turn. And we're gonna start this party off right by activating Phallus's effect. She will be tributed. I'm going to target your big Graffa to destroy it and then mill three. I guess I'll just use my Graffa's effect here. So when you activate a monster effect or normal spell or trap, while I have a card in my hand, I can change that effect to become your opponent discards one card. Now that's really cool, except I have my trap card. Light Sworn Aegis. For every Light Sworn monster I control, I can negate one of your face up cards. So I'm going to negate Big Graffa and your gates. In response to your Light Sworn Aegis, I'm going to activate my Dark World Accession. So this will let me do another fusion summon since it's the main phase. Oh, you monster. I will be using Graffa and Ginta. I will be summoning another Graffa to the field. Okay, but at least this one will be destroyed. Yeah, so this one gets destroyed, unfortunately. And Felis will mill three cards as a charge, a wolf, and a dragonling. So wolf and dragonling will activate chain links one and two. And then I'll also be getting the effect of my Graffa since it was destroyed and my Ginta since it was banished. Ginta right. will summon itself back and Graffa will actually special summon back regular Graffa and then we each discard a card. 
Gonna bring back Gimta. Gonna special summon Gratha. And then card, we right. each discard one card. I'll discard this Lumina Twilight Swan. I'll discard my Danger Suchinoka. Wish I had an actual Dark World monster, but alas. Wolf will special summon itself, and Dragonling will search for a Dragon monster with 3,000 attack and 2,600 defense. It would have done Oh, that. you don't have that. You don't have one? Okay. <laughs> Well, in a new chain, Danger Suchinoko is going to special summon itself. So that's it. That's all for now. Okay, we're back to neutral. Let's activate the effect of Minerva. I'm gonna detach one to mill three cards. Okay. And draw for every light sworn milled. One, that's not a light sworn. Two, that is, and three. So we're gonna draw two cards. Wolf will activate to special summon. I will normal summon my Weiss, Light Sworn Archfiend. And then I'll synchro summon. Welcome back, Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn. And she will get her effect on summon. That was two Light Sworns. I'll send two different type Light Sworns from my deck. Weiss and Lumina. When Weiss gets sent, its effect activates to special summon a Light Sworn from my graveyard. I'll target my Michael. And I'll activate Michael's effect. I can pay 1,000 life, life points to target one card in the field and banish it. Big Grapha. Okay, this Grapha is destroyed. Oh, banished. Oh, it's banished? Yeah. Okay. Special summon from my hand, Judgment Dragon. And now, I'll banish Judgment Dragon and my Punishment Dragon, if I can find him. There he is. To summon the Enlightenment Dragon. Activate his effect. So everybody's getting banished, huh? Everybody's banished, except my Minerva says my Light Sworn monsters that I control cannot be banished. Oh boy. Very cool. All my cards are banished. Light Sworn will claim the first round. Yeah, oh, good game. Attack, 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 attack. I'll be taking the first move then, Duelist. We'll activate Dark World Dealings. Draw. Either way, I'm discarding my Snow Unlight of Dark World. And I'll discard Minerva, Light Sworn Maiden. In a new chain, Snow's going to add a card, a Dark World card, from my deck to my hand. And Minerva will mill one card from my deck. All right, well, let's see what it is. Minerva mills Phallus. Sweet, a target to pop with Grapha. Oh, that sucks. Maybe. All right, Snow's gonna get a Dark World card. This time I'm searching for my Ginta. And now Phallus will special summon. Next, I'm going to use Ginta's effect. By discarding it, I can add the Gates of Dark World and activate the Gates of Dark World. So let's go ahead and use that effect. We'll banish Ginta. I'm gonna discard Ceruli, Guru of Dark World, to draw a card. Now in a new chain, Ginta is gonna get special summoned to the field because it was banished, and Ceruli will special summon to your side of the field. Let's special summon Ginta back, and you can have Ceruli. All right, so that means in a new chain, I activate Ceruli. Ceruli's effect, why did I say that? Yeah, I mean, you got you got to be the one to activate it, sort of. I mean, it activates. So that means it's gonna make me discard a card. And I think I know exactly what card I want to discard. Let's discard my Silva, the Warlord of Dark World. Because you made me discard my Silva, it not only gets summoned to the field, but it's gonna get its second effect, which makes you select two cards in your hand and return them to the bottom of your deck. I'll choose these two. Do I shuffle? They just go to the bottom in any order you want. All right, they're going to the bottom. Awesome. Yay, three that cards. is very look, guys, cool. Look, look how well it's going for me. All right, next we're gonna set one card face down. Ooh, he's gonna pass. We'll activate Danger Mothman. Oh, of course. How many cards do you have? I only have two, so hope you pick nicely. I pick this one. You hit Danger Mothman, so it doesn't get special summoned because it was discarded. We both draw one card and then discard a card. Oh, that's that's wait, that's good for you. That it is good for me. I guess you wouldn't run a bad card. I'll be discarding my Brow. Starly Safer. Since Brow was discarded, it's gonna let me draw another card. I'll activate Dark World Dealings. Oh my gosh, here we go again. All right, I'm discarding. Lila. And Rainbow Over King of Dark World. So since Rainbow was discarded, it's gonna let me add a level five or higher Dark World monster from my deck to my hand. I'll get Grapha Dragon Lord of Dark World to my hand. Now I'm gonna activate another danger monster, my Danger Jackalope. Pick a card. Either card. You know, it's kind, it's, it's kind of messed up knowing what both the cards are. Cause nice one's, one's Grapha, one's the one, one's Jackalope. This one is Jackalope. It is Grapha. Grapha gets discarded. Jackalope gets special summoned. I draw one card and then Grapha is going to be able to activate its effect. Grapha will destroy Phyllis. Oh. I will return my Silva to my hand. 
in order to special summon from my graveyard rainbow over king of dark world i can special summon it from my graveyard by returning a level seven or lower dark world monster i control to the hand then we'll return rainbow to my hand to special summon graffa all right now we're gonna link for my muckraker from the underworld a very powerful fiend support card i actually really like this card thematically i have no idea what it does in real life yeah, she's trying to get an interview from you. Okay, I'm going to use Muckraker's effect. So I target a fiend monster in my graveyard, Snow. So I'm going to discard a card, and then I'll get to summon Snow to the field. I'll discard Snow on Light of Dark World, and special summon Snow. I also am locked into fiend monsters for the rest of this turn. So now, since I discarded Snow, that means that Snow can activate its effect. Get another Dark World card to my hand. Dark World Accession. I'll activate Dark World Accession. It's going to let me do a fusion summon. We'll discard. Rainbow and banish Graffa. Special summon Graffa Dragon Overlord Dark World. I feel so dumb for thinking you were out of gas like forever ago. Rainbow also gets an effect. It's not a once per turn. Since it was discarded, I do get to add a level 7 or higher Dark World monster. This time it's going to be Rainbow Overlord of Dark World to my hand. So now I'm going to use Rainbow's effect in the graveyard by returning snow to my hand. That's also not a hard once per turn? It is also not a hard once per turn. That's crazy that it can do that. But Modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards not having once per turn, hard once per turns is crazy. And now I'll use Dark World Accession's effect. In the main phase, it can add itself to my hand and I have to discard a fiend monster, Snow. And now Snow gets its effect again because it doesn't have a hard once per turn either. And I'll get Parl, Hermit of Dark Lord. D Dark Lord. Parl, Hermit of Dark World. We'll set one more card face down in the field and end my turn. Draw! I'll activate Charge of the Light Brigade. And as a cost, I'll mill three, which in my opinion is the best part of this card. Yeah, as long as the mills are good. Wolf, Raiden, and Punishment Dragon. All right, let me now think I can about search. this. That is fine. I'll get my Light Sworn Dragonling. And now in a new chain, my Wolf will special summon. Normal summon, Raiden, Hand of the Light Sworn. Then I'll activate his effect to mill two. He'll gain attack for each Light Sworn sent. There was two Light Sworns, so he's getting 400, but also my Dragonling will get its effect to add a Punishment Dragon or JD from deck to hand. All right, so I had Judgment Dragon to hand. Now, Synchro Summon, Minerva. That is fine. Then she will send two cards from my deck to the grave with different types. Felis and Weiss. They'll both be sent they, and both their effects will activate. We'll do chain links one and two. Weiss is targeting Lila in my grave to special summon. Felis special summons. Weiss will special summon Lila. Now, I'll activate my Lila's effect. I'm gonna target a spell or trap card you control to dis and destroy it. I'm targeting that one. And she switches to defense position. Oh, that's my Dark World Punishment. Oh, that's a great one. That one, that would have been great. That is an excellent one. I'll activate my Felis's effect. She'll tribute herself and target Big Graffa to destroy it. All right, well, I'm going to use my Muckraker's effect to tribute a different fiend monster instead of getting my Graffa destroyed. Destroy Rainbow. But I will still mill my three cards, even if I didn't hit the guy I wanted. Aegis, Trick Clown. And Lumina, Trick Clown and Aegis will activate. We'll do a one and two. Trick Clown will special summon, and I'll take 1,000. And an Aegis will set itself to the field. I'll activate Minerva's second effect. I'm gonna banish four Light Swans from my graveyard to mail four cards. Felis, Ryko, Raiden, and Wolf. Mail four. One, two, three, four. We did hit a wolf. Wolf activates the special summon itself. Now, I'm gonna do something ill-advised. Activate the Weiss in my hand. By placing a Light Swan on top of my deck, I can special summon Weiss, and then mill two cards, Dragonling and Aegis. They both use their effects this turn, so they're done. And now I'll Synchro Summon. Judgment, the Dragon of Heaven. I'll pay half my life points. To just destroy everything else. Yes. All right, so you'll pay half. Let's think about how I want to handle this. I'm just going to let that go through. I'll use my Trap card, though. Mm. Dark World Punishment can be banished if my Dark World cards would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. That didn't work out exactly how I thought it was going to, but I still had a plan in case it didn't go perfectly correct. So I'll special summon Judgment Dragon, cause I'm locked in the dragons, but he's a dragon. As much as this, cause I, I, st I can't actually get over 3200, I'll activate Judgment Dragon's effect and I'll pay 1000 to destroy all other cards on the field. I'll use my Grappa's effect here. 
Okay. So I'm gonna change Judgment Dragon's effect. I'll discard my rainbow. And so since it got discarded by your effect, <laughs> it'll special summon itself to the field and then destroy all the monsters that you control. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Bet you think you're real slick with that, don't you? Yeah. I activated my grave, Starly Safer. I can banish it to add one of my level eight dragons from my graveyard to my hand. The Punishment Dragon. I'll special summon from my hand, Punishment Dragon. I don't have, I don't have anything to And I'll special about summon it. from my hand, Judgment Dragon. Banish Punishment Dragon and Judgment Dragon. Enlightenment Dragon. Enlightenment Dragon will attack Rainbow. I'll move to my end phase. Okay. That'll trigger both Judgment and I think your effect as well. So you'll so they both will mail four cards. So first Judgment Dragon. One, two, three, four. So we'll You can't summon anything that's not a dragon this turn. Ooh dead, 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 dead. So thankfully I'm safe and from then that. Enlightenment mail. I did not think about that. That is painful. Your turn. I draw a duelist. I'll activate my Dark World Accession in my graveyard. It'll get added to my hand, and then I'll discard a theme. Go for it. All right, Dark World Accession to my hand. We'll activate Dark World Accession. I'll pay 2,000 life points. I will banish all other cards on the field and in our graveyards. I won't let you. I'll <laughs> use Grappa's effect, <laughs> and I'll change Punishment Dragon's effect to be, I discard one card. All right, so you're gonna instead just make me discard Parl. And now Dark World Accession resolves. We're going to banish Rainbow from my graveyard, along with some other themes, such as Ceruli and Ginta. So now I get to Fusion Summon. If you're gonna banish that many, you might as well just let me use my effect. Nah. Chloralis, Chaos King of Dark World. I didn't think I'd actually get to make him in this duel. I got a few effects that are going to be resolving. Parl is going to let me target a Dark World monster in my graveyard, summon it to either field, and then if it was discarded by your effect, I can special summon another fiend monster that's banished or in my hand or in my grave to either field as well. So Parl's gonna summon two fiends. Yeah, so Parl's gonna be summoning two fiends. And then as chain link two, Chlorless will destroy all cards that you control. Parl's going to target my Snow Unlight of Dark World, and then the other effect it does not target. All right, now there goes my dragons. And then Parl is going to special summon Snow and Ceruli to your side of the field. Parl's also 3,000 attack and defense, by the way. He gets oh, 1,000 okay. for each material. So now in a new chain, we get some more things, I believe. We do. First, Ceruli activates as a mandatory effect, I believe. And then chain link two is Enlightenment Dragon's Float. Okay, so how does it flow? So it's going to add Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon from my Banish Zone to my, or my Banishment to my hand, and then I special summon them, ignoring their summoning conditions. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon. You know what? Special summon them, because mm. why not, to be completely honest. Now then, Cerulea's gotta resolve. You hit my rainbow, the overking of Dark World. So my heart jumped into my throat when you said rainbow. I thought you meant another oh, copy other of rainbow. that rainbow. Oh, that'd be amazing if I could get that back. There's a card that can, but I don't currently have it. Okay, so now in a new chain, because you made me discard Rainbow, it's gonna get level five or higher, Dark World Monster, like my Graffa. Mm -hmm. Also, I can special summon a level four or lower Dark World Monster from my deck or grave to either field. Let me another Snow. Let's return Snow to the hand and special summon Rainbow. Then mayhap, let's do it again for another Rainbow. Now I'm going to use Chlorless's effect. What? I can actually target a card I control, discard a card, and then you can't target that face-up card with card effects. I'm gonna target itself, why not? And discard Snow. Now you can't target Chlorless. More importantly, Snow uses its effect. Say hello to the game. Gates of Dark World. We'll activate the Gates of Dark World. We'll use its effect. Banish Argenta to discard a card. I'll discard Snow, <laughs> draw one card. Snow's effect activates again, and Ginta also activates. Can't forget about that. So Ginta's gonna get summoned. Snow's gonna get Dark World Archives. What is this gonna do? Just make that card stronger. Activate Dark World Archives. I'll use its effect. I can discard a Dark World monster, and if I do, Dark World monsters I currently control will gain attack. Equal to the level of a discarded monster. Times 100. Let's use it. Gosh. Let's discard Graffa. Ah! All my monsters, 800. And Graffa's gonna activate its effect because it was discarded. We'll destroy Punishment Dragon. Goodbye, my friend. And all my monsters gain 800 attack points. 
Hope you're ready for this. So that's 800 plus the 300 they're getting from Gates. Let's return Ginta to the hand. You're not done? For the final Graffa and enter the battle phase duelist. Oh my gosh. So we'll attack you first with Graffa since it's only 3,000. I'm going to end the battle phase with my turtle. Oh! I have the elect. I'm gonna banish Electromagnetic Turtle. We're gonna end the battle phase. Sneaky, sneaky. You wanna live a little bit longer, do you? I'm gonna struggle. Okay. In that case, you made it this turn, Duelist. <laughs> but only this turn. I set one card phase down and end my turn. All right. Draw! I will activate the other safer in my graveyard, banishing it to add this Punishment Dragon back to my hand. Normal summon, Lumina, and I'll activate her effect, discarding my Punishment Dragon. What card do you I'm going target to target UI. Raiden. I don't think I want you doing that, do Wow. I'm going to use Graffa's effect, and it's going to change your effect to make me discard a card instead. I'll discard my Ginta. All right. Enter battle. Lumina, attack Chloris. Boom. <laughs> it's like the Master Duel things. <laughs> We're going to oh game three. Gosh. So Duelist, as you lost this duel, you get to pick who goes first. You're never going first again. I'm three. going first. I am going first. I'm going first. I'm going to start with Charge of the Light Brigade. We're going to send three cards, and then I get a search. Weiss, Light Sworn Archfiend. These new cards, they are, yeah, they find their way. They are wonderful. Weiss will activate Engrave. It will target Raiden to special summon. Let's activate Raiden's effect. I'm going to send two cards, and he gains nothing. But I do now have a Light Sworn in Graveyard, so I can special summon from my hand. Dragonling. It will send one Light Sworn monster from my deck to the grave. Wolf! And everybody knows what Wolf does. Special summon. Now we we'll perform a synchro summon. Minerva. It's Minerva. The Athenian Light Sworn. The Athenian Light Sworn. And she'll activate her effect. Wolf Minerva. So Wolf will special summon himself, and Minerva will send one more card. It's Aegis. Aegis will set itself to the field. And now we'll overlay into Minerva 2. Then we'll use this Minerva's effect. Raiden, Wolf, and Lumina. We got the three Light Sworn sweep. So we're gonna draw three cards. And then we're going to activate the Dragonling that was detached from my Minerva. And Wolf. Wolf will special summon, and Dragonling will search for one of my dragons. Let's get Punishment Dragon to hand. Now, I'll activate Solar Recharge. I'm gonna discard a Light Sworn monster, draw two, and then Mill two. Let's discard my Raikou Twilight Sworn to draw two cards, and then send two. Lumina, and Lumina Twilight Sworn Shaman. All the Luminas. Now I'm gonna activate Weiss in my hand by placing a Light Sworn on top of my deck. Weiss will special summon herself, and then mill the top two cards off my deck. Felis and Lila. Felis' effect will activate to special summon. Set a monster face down. End my turn. I'll draw for turn then. Activate my Dark World Archives. I'll activate Zalamander Catalyzer. I can reveal it and another fiend monster in my hand. I'll be revealing Snow. I get to pick one to special summon and then discard the other. We'll special summon Zalamander and discard Snow. Since Snow is discarded, you know what that means. It's going to add a Dark World card from my deck to my hand. Rainbow Overking of Dark World. Next, we're going to activate Dark World Archives. Let's discard Rainbow. It's going to just increase their attack. So I don't have any, but that's okay. Rainbow can still use its effect since it was discarded. It'll let me add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster. Let's get Graffa. And now I can use Dark World Archives' second ability. Since a monster whose original type is Fiend was discarded from my hand by the effect of a Dark World card, I can discard one card and then draw two cards. I bet you'd like that. I should have used it earlier, but I use it now. My Light Sworn Aegis. So for every face up Light Sworn I have, I can negate one of your cards. I'll negate cool. these two. I'll activate my Dark Cord. So it lets me add a Dark World card from my deck to my, or monster from my deck to my hand, and then I'll discard one card. So I'm getting Ginta, and I'll be discarding Graffa, the Dragon Lord of Dark World, from my hand. That means Graffa can use its effect to destroy a card in the field. We'll destroy your face down card. Poor Raiko. I'll discard Ginta. The Gates of Dark World. Activate the Gates of Dark World. 
I'm gonna use the Gates of Dark World, banishing Ginta from my graveyard, and that will let me discard a fiend. So mad you had more discord. I could have saved the just for all that was worth. My snow, yeah, I barely got to all of this. Discard my snow, draw one card, and now Ginta and snow activate. So Ginta summoning itself back, and snow is gonna search for a dark world. Dark world accession should do. And next, return Ginta, rainbow. Then, we'll return rainbow to my hand. Graph. We'll normal summon Ginta. And we're gonna link summon with Ginta and Zalamander Catalyzer. Let's make Muckraker from the Underworld. I'll use Muckraker's effect. Target a fiend in my graveyard. It'll be Snow. I discard a card, this time Rainbow, and special summon that fiend monster. Still can't actually swing over much, but we'll put her in attack position. And now Rainbow is going to activate since it was discarded. Rainbow will get me a level five or higher Dark World monster, like Graffa. And finally, he's gonna get to show his face. Let's return Snow to the hand to summon back Rainbow. And then, Dark World Accession, my fusion spell. So, we're gonna fuse using Dark Worlds in my hand as discards. It's gonna be Snow and Graffa. Say hello again to Graffa, Dragon Overlord of Dark World as well as a couple of effects from Snow and Graffa. Since Graffa was discarded, it gets to target one of your cards and destroy it. Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn. And Snow's getting a search as well for this, my Dark World puppetry. Let's return Rainbow and special summon back this Graffa. I'll activate my Dark World puppetry. So I target it for three cards in any graveyards, banish them, and then discard a fiend monster. So I know exactly what I'm after. I don't want you having Starly Seyfert or Electromagnetic Turtle. Michael the Athenian Lightsworn. That's Minerva. Minerva the Athenian Lightsworn. Now I discard a Fiend, like Rainbow. Rainbow doesn't have a hard bunch per turn, so we're gonna use that effect again. Get a high level Dark World monster. We'll be grabbing the original Rainbow Overlord of Dark World. So we'll attack first with Graffa on Thelus. Then we'll use this second Graffa to attack Wise. And then finally, we're going to attack with this Graffa on Wolf. I'll use Accession's effect to add it to my hand. And now I'll set two cards face down. Your move, Duelist. Draw. I'll activate Minerva's effect. Thelus, Weiss, Lila. Not a bad mill. No. I'll draw three cards. Weiss and Thelus will activate in my graveyard. Weiss chain link one, Thelus chain link two. Weiss will target Lila, Twilight Swan Enchantress. It's fine. Thelus special summons. Then Weiss will special summon my Lila Twilight Sworn. I'll activate Felis's effect, tributing her targeting Big Graffa to destroy it. We're gonna use my Muckraker's ability. I can tribute another fiend instead of having it get destroyed. Graffa. All right, well, Felis will still mill the three cards. Lumina, Solar Recharge, and Charge. And then that triggers Lila. When one of my Light Sworn monsters effect activates their effects, she will send the top three cards. How many cards you got left in that deck? None. I will special summon Judgment Dragon from my hand. I'll use my Dark World Punishment. To negate my summon? To negate your summon. And I'll also have to discard my Rainbow Overlord of Dark World. In a new chain, I'll activate my Dark World Archives. Because my Dark World, or because my Fiend Monster got discarded by the effect of a Dark World card, I can discard one card and draw two. I'll chain my Lila Twilight Sworn Enchantress. Ooh, okay. Yeah, when a spell or trap card or effect is activated, quick effect, banish a Light Sworn from my hand or graveyard, then target a face up spell or trap card in the field and destroy it. We'll banish Lumina Targeting Archives. That's normal summon Raiden Hand of the Light Sworn. And special summon the Light Sworn Dragonling from my hand because I have Light Sworn Engrave. Synchro summon to make the guy who I didn't think I was gonna make a second time, but I blame myself for having to do this Judgment, the Dragon of Heaven. But we're not using an effect just yet. I'll have my Judgment. The Dragon of Heaven attack Muckraker. And then in main phase. Next, I'm going to actually activate another effect as well. Since a fiend monster was destroyed in battle, I can use Zalamander Catalyzer. Since a monster was destroyed by battle involving my fiend, while it's in the grave, I can add it to my hand. Set two cards phase down, and end my turn. And end your turn, huh? Yes. So that means that you're putting it all on the line. Screw it. Before I end my turn, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this effect. Oh, you're gonna use, so maybe you don't wanna set those yet, huh? It doesn't make a difference. Oh, you're just gonna pay because it doesn't matter. It huh? doesn't matter. I'm paying my half my life points. Okay, attempting to destroy all, of the all other cards. Well, 
It's just all other cards just get All the cards get destroyed. I'm gonna use my trap card. What? Oh yeah. Banish it to protect my dark world monsters specifically. Alright, I Everyone else goes. Alright. That's uh that's it. I pass. I draw. Stand back. Main thing. He doesn't have a quick effect. I end my turn. Which means you don't get to draw a card. <laughs> ah. What was in your hand, duelist? Alright, comments. Tell us what he could have done. What was the play? What I needed to do was on that my very first play of that last turn, I needed to get Lumina instead of Belila. Lumina would have been would have been able to pitch off one of my cards, summon out the level four, make the Michael. Make the Michael, put give me a deck back. Yeah, get a deck back so you could actually just do But everything. I didn't but at the time I still had some deck left and didn't realize I was gonna mail out of it. Yeah, I guess more of the story today is just like, man, lights wanted to be crazy, but you gotta be counting that, that deck. Woo, fun duel. Hopefully you guys game, enjoyed it. Game. Very well played, or I say that, but I mean, the best part about a theme duel is that now is when we get to learn in the comments all the misplays and the like, this card doesn't do that. You yeah, I'm sure summon we that. cheated somewhere along the way. All right, so for every time you saw us cheat, here's what you have to do. Take one shot. You have to share the video with one more friend. <laughs> if you, for every time we cheat, that's just the new thing. Cool, well hopefully you guys enjoyed this theme duel. We've done plenty of others. Make sure that you check it out on the playlist that we'll link somewhere on the screen or you can check out one of our other videos and of course subscribe to the channel if you appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.